right now from Team USA Taekwondo, the first family of Taekwondo. We know these guys well. Steven Lopez, did, right? Diana Lopez. Hey, hey, thanks for hanging out. Well, it's kind of late, but uh, you're live with us here on Sports oh, Sunday. Nice night here in Dallas. What does this mean, knowing that the summit is going on and we're 74 days out? Does, is this when it kind of sinks in that, hey, we're getting close here? It really does. You know, it's an exciting time. You start seeing all your Olympic, fellow Olympians, uh, Olympic hopefuls here and just all the media, you get really excited and you start thinking, man, you get nervous because every single moment, every single day really counts from here on now, out. Now, you were telling me before the show, this is, uh, you've been on the national team for 18 years. This is your fourth Olympic Games. In your wildest dreams, did you imagine you'd be doing it this long? I, I really didn't think so. I, I, when I think about, oh my God, 18 years on the national team, this is my fourth <laughs> Olympics are coming around and, I mean, time really does fly. All right, Diana, uh, you, you uh, had the experience in Beijing. This is going to be your second go around in the yeah. Olympics. What did you learn your first time there and experiencing all that you did there in Beijing? In Beijing, it was a dream for all of us to make the Olympic team. Um, you know, I was walking op in the opening ceremonies with my three brothers and my parents in the stands. And so now going to London, uh, you know, I'll have two of my brothers, two out of the three, uh, walking in with me. And um, it's just a, a different venue uh, for me. I'm going to enjoy everything. and. Uh, uh, I'm ready to bring home the gold medal. I've got to ask you both, and we've talked about it before, you're spending so much time with Mark, and of course, Gene, your brother, is the coach for Team USA. Talk about the family bond and, and what that means and what it's meant to both of you on this Olympic journey to have family members right alongside you. Man, it's really been a, truly been a, a family affair. Uh, it's something that we all did as, as little kids, and, you know, it's part of our lives. Um, you know, as a little kid, you never really thought of being an Olympian, an Olympic champion, although the first time I saw Taekwondo as an Olympic sport in 1988, that's when the fire really ignited for me to become an Olympian. Right. But, I mean, there's been ups and been downs, and through it all, I've always had my siblings to kind of rely on, and I think a huge advantage that I have over all my opponents is having my brother as the Olympic coach and having my siblings as my teammates because when you're out there, it's a lonely road to get onto the top, and so when you have siblings who have a common goal and a common dream, it makes it that much easier. What's harder, reaching the top level or maintaining it once you get there? I think maintaining it. Um, you know, like Steven's steven has been doing this. He's been on the national team for 18 years, so that would be a better question for him. But I, I love the whole process, and um, I love training, and uh, I, I'm just looking forward to every competition like it's my first time. Well, it's a lot of fun seeing you guys, and we appreciate the time tonight. Staying up late on Sports Sunday. <laughs> All the fans back there in Houston, the Sugar Land area, they appreciate that. <laughs> hey, we're going to be following you every step of the way to London, and best of luck. Thank you. Y Thank you very much. Steven Lopez and Diana Lopez, Taekwondo representing Team USA. Appreciate it. Thank you.